Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toast and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exvis video. And you guys can see right here in the back, uh, this way, CGIO is gonna be dropping this Friday. So the man, uh, the, 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 I don't know, I don't know how to call him, the, just the, 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 the biggest damage dealer is dropping this Friday on the global version. Uh, this guy's gonna be insane. I can guarantee you that you're gonna wake up in the morning and your friends list is gonna be filled with this guy right here. He's insane, he's gonna be so good, and I can't wait to pull for him on this Friday. I think last time I was this this excited was uh, maybe when Sephiroth came out. Man, this is great. So we're gonna go over his Stress Master as I'm moving a little bit out of the way. So Eos Clothes, uh, it's gonna be, be a piece of clothing, not armor. Uh, attack 28, defense 42, enables Blade Master, and Blade Master, what it does, basically boosts your attack by 30% when you're equipped with a great sword. This guy's gonna be a true double hand character, but you're gonna be able to uh, dual cast his chaining abilities. Uh, he's gonna be really high on HP. His attack looks really, really sick. And uh, let's be honest, his uh, limit burst is gonna be crazy with a 19 times multiplier and a 30 hit. Uh, chaining move so you're gonna be able to chain two IOs limit burst together and just dish out a lot of damage so that's a super trust master he's gonna be our five star going into seven star he looks beautiful and I can't wait to pull for him this Friday we're gonna go over the next thing boom just like that uh, is super trust master so if you guys are lucky and you get four of him and we're gonna go over the steps of how you can get four of them a little bit easier. You're gonna get the Ultima weapon from FFBE. It's a great sword. It's his great sword. Attack 180. And this thing looks amazing. Uh, I kept all my Moogles for him. So the second he comes out, I'll be able to get his Trust Master. And uh, hopefully I can get three more of him. And if not, I'm keeping my unit of choice ticket. And I'll be waiting two weeks after the banner is done to be the summoning for a second or maybe third or fourth one of them. So that's a super trust master and he's gonna be he's gonna be amazing. Then this is where things gets really 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 interesting. So limited to one player he's gonna come up with a step up summon. Uh, the first one here you guys can see three uh, we're up to eight thousand, nine thousand five hundred, ten thousand five hundred and eleven thousand. So if you guys have eleven thousand lapis you will be guaranteed well, not guaranteed, but almost guaranteed a EO. So on step one, uh, almost like the Reagan banner, on step one, you do one summon, uh, she's going to be guaranteed. So the three star of that banner is going to be guaranteed. On step two, it's two summons for a thousand lapis, you'll get a five star, five percent Moogle. On step three, you'll be having four, uh, four characters, so it's going to be a four pool of characters, and you're going to be uh, guaranteed the four star unit on that banner. On step four, 3,000 Lapis, 6 Summons, and you'll be guaranteed a 10% Moogle. And on step 5, hopefully, with a 5 times the rate up of uh, a Rainbow, you'll be able to get CGIO. I hope for all of you guys who are putting 11,000 Lapis in that step-up banner, I'm hoping for all of you, and I'm ch uh, channeling a lot of energy for you guys to get CGIO at least once. Then, if it didn't work out for you, there's always the step of seven right here and this one's actually really really cool for uh 25,000 lapis normal one 5,000 you get a 10 plus one uh summon and you get a 10 percent moogle on step two basically guaranteed the four star unit on step three you're guaranteed a rainbow so any rainbow in the game on step four uh that uh that good old five ten percent five star ticket whatever we don't like this one and on step five this is where things get really really crazy uh you're basically guaranteed awakened rain or hio or heal so you're guaranteed one of the two units and uh as i can see awakened rain on uh, the seven star meta is going to be maybe the best aoe magic cover tank in the game and yo well we're talking about the best you know damage dealer in the game and uh the way things are going to go He's just gonna get crazier and crazier. So this is how you guys can get your EO this Friday. So keep that lapis if you guys still have some story to play. Play that story event. Keep those tickets. Don't waste your tickets. Keep them and uh, literally farm as many things as you can to put on this banner. The good thing is uh, he's always gonna be in the summon pool. 
so you guys will always be able to summon for him so that's one good thing to do so let's move on to the next one so we have a lot of cool things uh so seven star awakening they finally dropped down some news on that one uh so this september these are the units that are gonna get their seven stars so i'm just gonna move out right here so you guys can see a little bit of everybody so titus queen ace transterra nyx roberta emperor ayaka mercenary ramza knight delita and onion knight will get their seven star awakening which is fantastic because this guy right here mr titus i was waiting so long to finally awaken him to a seven star uh the crazy thing is we might see a lot more of um what's it called eo on your friends list but uh you know what onion knight still really really cool uh i'll probably put my titus because you know what he's back with the brotherhood right here he's gonna look sick and uh if you guys have transterra she's gonna be really good ayako one of the best healer if not the best healer in the game uh and these guys fire actually emperor emperor is going to be pretty good too where you're going to be able to cast this fire from below twice in one turn so that's not bad actually so uh let's uh you know let's keep our eyes open for these new seven stars at least they're dropping more seven stars which is great move on to the next one we're gonna get some abilities awakening updates so uh ulrika mistia sylvia goken and uh i always forget eltich i think Roy, Lauren, and Duke will, uh, will have their uh, abilities awakened. So uh, can't wait to see exactly what we're going to have with these guys. But it's going to make them a little bit more relevant. Lauren actually is 7 star. She's going to be a crazy, crazy breaker. And uh, Mistia, you know what? She's already really, really, really good. So having more abilities awaken her uh, will be even better. And uh, yeah, it's about time they drop more abilities awakening for some of these characters. Because... You know what? They look really, really good. Then, we're going to move on to these ones. So, uh, we're going to get three new bosses this month. So, the first one, Chamber of the In Indignant, which I always have a hard time to say. Uh, you're going to fight the two-headed dragon, and you'll be able to get the Grand Elm Plus, which is Defense 65, Sleep, Confuse, Silence, Nullifier. So, you won't be able to get Sleep, Confuse, or Silence with that Elm. And... Uh, enables extremely heavy armor. I guess it's probably going to give you a percentage uh, on defense when equipped with a helm or something like that. So uh, keep your eyes open for this one. We're probably going to do this one on stream or uh, we'll see exactly how we do this one because I'm having a lot of fun doing these ones on stream because I'm actually really, really bad at the game. So yeah, let's move on to the next one as we're going down here. So like the bomb family. You guys will be able to fight the Malboro once again. So this thing on the Chamber of the Fallen, this headache of a boss is coming back in the Chamber of the Fallen. But now instead of being one, you're basically have to you're gonna have to fight two of them. So uh, there's uh, Mama Malboro and Papa Malboro, I guess. So this is what you're gonna be able to get: uh, initial completion reward, Malboro Shield, Defense 59, Spirit 31, Resistance Fire 50% down. Uh, water resistance 50% up and all status ailments nullified uh, hopefully you're not gonna put this on uh, your tank when you're fighting a boss that does fire damage or else your tank is gonna die really 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 fast but I do love the status ailment uh, nullifier which you will not get any status ailment so this thing looks really really cool can't wait to see how this boss goes so we're gonna wait till we have more information on these two and uh yeah time to break my head again to uh fight these bosses so yeah if one malboro was not a problem i guess two is gonna be even better then we got one more it's gonna be in the chamber of arms the demonic assassin of judgment brachium so we're gonna be able to fight her really nice reward at the end uh the royal crown defense 16 magic 50 spirit 32 uh, nullifies confusion and able, enables champion's crown uh, maybe gonna give you a percentage based on magic or something like that but nonetheless three new fights finally they're dropping a little bit more content in the game because i'll be honest in the last two three weeks uh the game has been pretty pretty slow so that's it for this one uh yeah lots of good news so we're gonna move on to this one right here as i'm logging in so, because uh, I have my 10 plus 1, my free 10 plus 1, we can do it today. So, we're going to go over the new, the other news that they dropped. Uh, we're also going to get some uh, new units. They talked about the, 
I think the summer fest units or something like that uh, where we're gonna have awaken uh, not awaken rain we're gonna have rain last well wearing a swimsuit so for you ladies out there playing the game where we got uh, swimsuit Fina swimsuit lid uh, you girls will finally be able to play with swimsuit rain and I guess swimsuit last well so that's one thing you you ladies can look forward to the game and you know what anybody who wants to play the game you're gonna be looking towards that because uh, they're new units hopefully we won't have to pull for them because if we do have to pull for them I'm sorry I might not go for them unless unless they are really really good but enough with the news uh, I seriously can't wait for Friday so hopefully right now we're gonna be able to get a rainbow so uh, let's see what we can get as we finish talking about the news give me that free 10 plus one and let's go for at least one rainbow let's go just one rainbow not in the background hopefully it's gonna be in the pool so guys channel your energy with me if you guys want to pull with me and you guys didn't pull uh, I'll wait two three seconds or press pause on the video open your app go into summons and get ready because this bad boy is about to crack into a rainbow or it's just gonna stay gold and no rainbows all right so two weeks in a row without a rainbow uh, what do we got here Goken not that bad uh, you're pretty bad Rosa getting closer and closer to that TMR which is really good and the rest uh, no really need for anybody else here so that was a poopy poll but it doesn't matter it's free so uh, really excited guys this is gonna be it for the video please let me know down below if you enjoyed this video comment if you're excited about yo dropping this Friday and guys please uh, subscribe for the channel thank you for the new subscribers you guys are amazing and the older subscribers and leave a like down below and I'll catch you guys in the next video peace